Hey everyone, we're back with Fox and Robin here. We've been gone for a little while, but we're back and we've got this weird thing to show you. So let's take a look at it. All right, so we've had some changes here in the studio. You can tell we've got big TV behind us. It's a big 70 inch TV that we are working off of now. That's our only screen, it's massive. We actually got it to do a wedding that we're doing later this month uh, as a projection screen. But we thought, you know, it'd be a good idea to use it here in the studio and kind of see how it works with computers and just overall usage, you know. So it's very bright, it's very large and very useful. Uh, we've also switched over to Cubase, uh, Cubase Pro 13. We tried it out for the last month or so, did a two month trial. Loved a lot of the features it has. It's a lot more stable than Studio One is. So that's kind of what we're switching to. So we might do some videos on how that's working for us versus how Studio One was working for us versus how, you know, all the other ones that we've been using over the years. But that's kind of that kind of video and it's gonna be coming out, I don't know, sometime later this month. Easter's upon us, uh, that's coming this weekend. So if you're watching this before Easter, happy Easter. And let's get on with what I wanna show you today. I've got this strange pedal and it looks like this. Believe it or not, folks, this is a guitar pedal and it's wired. It's got this big, massive wired cable, power cable, and it's just monstrous. And you might be wondering, what would I use this for? What would you use it for? So basically this is, uh, it's made for a Leslie. And if you're not aware of what a Leslie is, a Leslie is a cabinet that goes with a B3 Hammond organ. Uh, you see them in churches where they've got the organ and then they've got this big tall cabinet that's like about yay high, maybe taller, maybe it's above the camera here. Anyways, it's a taller cabinet that has a spinning speaker in it that acts as a tremolo. And that's kind of what this guy does. This is a pedal to hook up to a Leslie cabinet. So you don't have the, if you don't have the organ, you can use it for other things. Um, and I'm gonna show you, am I gonna get close here? It's kind of hard to see because it's very, it's very shiny. It's got your typical guitar pedal on off here and another one here as well. Um, the one up here is power. This one up top here, that is a guitar push, I don't know, push, push button, push switch. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, it powers up here and this just activates the tremolo. Um, and when you turn it on, it's got an on LED, not, not really an LED, it's got an on and a tremolo light. Um, along with uh, a little breaker here in case you you know blow a fuse because this is a preamp it has a preamp in it to power the Leslie speaker um, the back of it is gonna look a little funky um, as you can tell here this is the back of it and it's kind of hard like I said it's a little shiny I'm trying not to get too much light on it but here this big black plug here this big circle thing is a multi-pin connection to a Leslie and they use a it's a seven pin cable I believe that goes out into the Leslie um, and then this also has two two inputs it's got input one and two believe it or not and then attenuators or volume pots for those inputs now you're wondering Justin where did you get this thing well, the funny thing is I was at a church uh, this is probably about a couple weeks ago and we were going through a closet cleaning up and we found it like under a bunch of stuff and they're like we're gonna throw that away we don't need it so I said well I'll take it I might have some use for it I don't <laughs> that's the truth is I don't currently maybe in the future we'll see if we can get a cabinet to hook this up to actually try it I will do a video of this hooked into a cabinet um, I might have to take it back to the church because that church does have a couple Leslie cabinets so We'll have to see what, if I do, I'm gonna do a video on how this thing actually works and sounds. Um, it's very shiny, so on, on a stage, this thing's gonna like, you can see it just, it's casting light everywhere. It's just a big reflector, even the back of it. Um, very well made. Um, cannot tell you circa when it was made, um, but it was manufactured by the Electro Music, a CBS division. Um, so you're probably looking 70s, 80s when this thing was actually built. But it's built like a tank, it weighs a ton. Um, it's got a nice rubber foot top here. As you can see, it's black, it's got this black foot top, which is rubberized to a certain extent. Um, I might do a 
a uh, kind of a teardown. I might tear it apart and do a video of that. I haven't decided yet, but that is kind of this pedal. And as I go through more pedals here in the studio here, we're going to keep kind of trucking on pedal land. Uh, I've got a pedal board I'm putting together. This is not going on it, but this would be fun to try out. Um, run vocals through it, run guitars through it, keyboards, whatever you can fit a quarter inch jack on, uh, the best. Um, do I recommend it? I can't say because I don't know if it actually works. Um, but it's kind of a neat piece of history. I'll say that. Nonetheless, it's a piece of history. So um, that's kind of it for today's video. Just kind of wanted to show you this. And you know, we've been watching a lot of you guys watch, looking at our videos and stuff through our analytics and noticed that a lot of people who watch our content aren't subscribed. So let's remedy that by hitting the like and subscribe button. We would highly highly appreciate you if you hit the like and subscribe button and those who have in the last month awesome thank you we highly appreciate that as well so you know that's today's video not sponsored by leslie leslie aha leslie um i almost said nestle by leslie not sponsored but if they're watching uh hit us up and go make some music we'll see you next time